Alrighty, as you can kind of see, we've got the massive mess here. I'm going to be clearing all this off and setting up my lights right there. So, I've got a project ahead of me. I will get to work on that. Alright, I've got the table all cleared off and it's been sanitized. So, I will be putting down my towel here help keep any spills to a minimum or make cleanup of the dirt a lot easier so I'll set you down and begin assembly of the grow light All right, here it is, all nice and assembled. We got these two side pieces here attached into the main crossbar. And we've got it all set up here. We need just need to install the lights and we will be good. Do that on a time lapse here. Alrighty, the big light's installed now. Let's give it a test here. It's been at least a year or so, maybe, since I've lit this baby up. Alright. There we go. Woo! Yeah, I'd say it works. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to get the light set up, but first, some other equipment that I use. Here's a timer. It's got uh, an outlet there and I'll be using this. These two power bars. One will plug into the bottom, one to, the one to this thing, and one will control the main light here. The other one will control the heating pad. Alrighty, here is the heat mat. It is a flexible waterproof heating mat. It'll be more pliable when it's warm, but it is intended to help seeds sprout. And <clears throat> how you keep seeds at the right temperature requires a heating mat. And it just keeps things warm, but if you use it by itself, it'll get up to about 85, 90 degrees. So what you want is one of these things right here. This is a thermostat doohickey. So here's the little thermostat measury thing and once it gets to a certain temperature it'll cut power to the mat and the mat will slowly cool down. Once it gets to a minimum low temperature it'll turn back on and heat back up so it'll keep it in about a three to five degree range. So this is excellent for starting seeds and keeping things warm. It also helps with the electric bill because you don't want this thing running the whole time. All right, here's the setup down below here. We've got the one power strip in the top there. Right now this is where the light is connected to, but eventually the light will be connected to this one. And as you can see, this one is attached to the timer. Set it however you like, but light is attached into the timer. And uh, the heat mat is attached to the full power one here. Because its timer will be the thermostat. Alright, I've got it flipped around. Got another towel down so that we can have full coverage. And now I'm going to plug in the thermostat here. So let's get this on so you can see down here. All right, here we are plugging in the thermostat for the heat mat. So we plug, here's the plug for the heat mat. We'll just plug it right in there. And then this one. 
There we go. Let there be power. All right, so you can see that the temperature thing here is showing 71.2 degrees, and it's slowly going up. So we're going to set it on about 70 degrees. So press and hold. Wait for it to start blinking. There we go. I'm going to set it on 70 degrees. There we go. All right, since it's above 70, it's now turned the heating off. So the pad up there doesn't have any power going to it. As soon as this drops below 70 to about 69.5 to 68.5, it'll pop back on and start heating again until it gets up to about 71, and then it'll turn off and stay at that range. All right, now we'll just move the thing up here. Go. and we will attach it somehow to this thing right here it will be sitting up here and the temperature thermometer device thingy will be basically right here on the pad so we will get that squared away at some point in the future but right now we are going to set up to put seeds on the mat here all right i've set another towel on top of the heat mat this will help insulate it and we'll be able to keep the temperature nice and even